how one lady honors the Lord with an upside down cross. Did I say that correctly? Honors God with an upside down cross. So, if you remember Peter, Peter was crucified. And he asked to be crucified upside down because he didn't feel he was worthy to be executed in the same way that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, was executed. So they, they said, oh, fine, right? They were happy to do that, and they crucified him upside down. And so she has an upside down cross on her neck. And some of her, she, she's got a big, a big YouTube channel, and I think it's, um, she's a TikToker. But she, you, I, I catch a lot of her shorts on YouTube as well. And I believe her. I never thought you could honor God with an upside down cross, but I believe that is her mentality. Some people are like, oh no, that's not, it's, it's just the exact opposite. But it is possible that some people are wearing an upside down cross just to say they're not worthy to even wear a cross. They're, they're identifying with Peter. This, this gal, I want to tell you a little bit about her. She had a hard life. She's uh, originally from Canada. She may be in the U.S. now. I, I'm a little confused about that, but she had, had been abused horribly as a, as a young foster girl by her foster mom. And she is a men's rights activist. And one of the things that she and a couple of other women who are men's rights activists have said is that too many women have this idea that they are victims, they are women, and they're, they're, they are therefore inherently good, and men are bad. And so they come into relationships with no sense of responsibility. The guy's expected to be perfect and, and they don't have any responsibility on themselves. She was very helpful with that because the, fir the, the first, and, I, and the Lord willing, the only honey trap that they sent me was exactly like that. She was nice at first, but then she began to behave very much like she was above me and all of this stuff. It was also economic because she had a job and, and I'm on SSI. It was also classism, but... This gal was very helpful to me and, and let me know that if I'm going to enter a relationship, I need to have a sense of responsibility. What is my responsibility to my girl, to my wife, to my woman? And what? It, and she has to have that. And if she doesn't have that, you don't want to be with her. If she thinks men are bad, then maybe she needs to work on her concept of men before she's in a relationship with a man. So I think it probably is possible to honor God with an upside down cross. I know that I spell God G-D. -D, L dash RD, and it looks like I'm trying to sit there and say, well, there is no God or God's not real. And in fact, Jewish folks, they for millennia leave out a letter literally because they are not worthy to say God's name. Hashem means the name. It's one way of referring to God without even saying his name. And so when they spell his name, they're definitely not worthy to spell his name. So they will leave a letter out. And they do that in Hebrew and they do that in English. And I adopted that. And it is to respect the Lord, but it does look disrespectful. And so her little upside down cross here looks disrespectful, but I trust her. And I believe that her heart's in the right place. I wouldn't do an upside down cross. But many folks, they're not going to spell God G-D. So help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Any combination thereof. God bless.